Swing down chariot stop and let me ride. Swing down chariot stop and let me ride. Oh, rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord. Come and easy. I got a home on the, I got a home on the, I got a home on the other side. I sort of discovered this place. You know, Billings Forge is an amazing place. It's, a, it's an old drop forge. Uh, it was converted into apartments, and then the Melville Charitable Trust bought it. And uh, so they put in a, a restaurant, an upscale restaurant, which brought a lot of people from the Capitol building and the downtown area into Frog Hollow, which really uh, enriched the community. There is a performance space here for dance and film and other performances. There's a large green right outside my studio and uh, there's a farmer's market here. Uh, there's a place for kids that live here to play. Uh, there's, a, there's a wonderful garden that uh, the restaurant uses. Also there's a kitchen here and a catering service out of here, a small cafe. Uh, so all of that creates an incredibly rich atmosphere. And I was thinking about the kids that live here. Like almost every day there's some kind of amazing event going on. So you can't help but, but to you know, watch their lives sort of like flourish because of this potential and this ability. And I think that where the community gets certain nourishment, you know, both actual nourishment in terms of food, but, but, but also spiritual nourishment in, in terms of the arts, you create incredibly vital communities and you create incredibly vital people that have a, a great future potential. Let's go live at Billings Forge. We love Billings Forge, an island of food, music, art, and intelligence in the middle of the bustling city. And now, Colin McEnroe. <laughs> Uh, Billings Forge is such a terrific place. Today is the first day that they've moved their regular farmer's market uh, outdoors for the summer. And there are people here selling uh, asparagus and spinach and meat and dairy products. One of the things that we like about Billings Forge, as Wolfie said, is just sort of the way it mixes together a lot of different elements. Today is a, what they call a mashup. Uh, they're going to be doing various kinds of performances. There's a, a salsa studio. There's um, I think a fashion trunk show. There's the premiere of, I don't know, maybe not the premiere, but a screening of a documentary. And, and then later at night, uh, more musical performances. Uh, but also just a lot going on with food. And a little bit later on, you'll meet a cookbook author, uh, Terry Walters, who's here doing uh, demonstrations. Someone said you should eat brown rice and kale. And I took one bite and blah, it did nothing for me. This is how I made it so it was delicious, so that it was easy, so that and it was so that it was affordable. You can count for everything in your design. I shop here every week. Um, I love it. And I'm a big supporter of, of the community development projects going on in the farmers market because <clears throat> it's real fresh fresh food. I think this is this is revitalizing the neighborhood in a way that's that's bringing a lot of different sorts of folks in here who might not ordinarily come in. Most of the seeds and the plants donated from a lot of our local farmers or, we, or different organizations. And then, you know, we have different classes. We have the children, we have the adults. We come out, we plant together, we harvest together, do more classes with the younger ones. And with the adults, I give some of them their own beds with an agreement that they have to do X amount of work helping us with others. A lot of the herbs go to the firebox and the kitchen in the cafe here as part of the job training. Uh, a lot of the vegetables go to the cafe for cooking classes, which are an extension of the garden classes. We also have children's cooking classes, so they get a lot. And I'm out here today on this market day cutting herbs for our pesto that we use on our grilled vegetable sandwich. And this is for the cafe portion of the kitchen catering, which is a catering oper uh, operation that uses uh, job trainees that are all uh, from the Frog Hollow neighborhood. It's great. It's like good. It was, a, it was a nice experience because I have never worked nowhere where I could really say like I really like where I work and I also live here so it's like convenient um, plus my kids are able to like participate in a lot of the programs that they have here so I like it a lot. 
I came out of prison with the hopes of putting a trade under my belt that I could profit from on my own. And the food industry is the strongest of them all. I mean, people would never not have to eat. And if I can learn how to feed them, as well as provide certain nutrients and inform them on nutrients that will feed their muscles and proteins that'll help their bones, then I feel like I can create, it gives me hope that I can create a future for myself serving people as opposed to the future, the past that I had. I've been wanting to grow. So Bill and Forge is exposure, it's structure, it's, it was family. Like the people around me became family like to me.